I thought that the, after the first five, six, you know, maybe ten minutes spell in the first half, I thought we took control, played some really good football, and created a few chances for the half chances, and then scored a really good goal right before half time, good time to score. I thought we controlled the first half a lot better than we controlled the second half. But over the course of the game, I thought we thoroughly deserved the win. Hard place to come, as is most Irish league grounds. Um, these teams, the Gannon, they're, you know, this team's a young team. They're organised. They're playing with freedom at the minute, as are the other teams at the bottom with the no risk of relegation. So they're well organised, well coached, young, enthusiastic, and playing with freedom. So dangerous, dangerous team to play. And we we know that the, the hardest result to get is after a, a so-called big result. You know, a derby game earlier in the week, and I uh, to come away from home against so-called one of the smaller clubs. That's a hard game to play in, and it was you know a job had to be done, and, and we did it. We got the three points, and you're preparing for games like this. You show them the same respect as if they're at the top of the table, and we did that. And I thought credit to the players. We we got the three points, and now we take another step forward. And Rory Donnelly was a bit dubious whether he got the goal on Tuesday night, but there's no doubt about that one. It was definitely his really goal, good goal tonight. I mean, the, as I say, you know, you keep possession. You don't have to be in a hurry to go forward, but when the time to go forward appears, you have to go 100 mile an hour, and that that, that was a great example. You know, a great bit of play from Reese Marshall. And he drove into the space, and then a great great ball across for Rory to finish. He tells me now that that's two and two, so I think he's still debating with Conor McMenamin who got the one at the National Stadium the other day. So. But no, glad for Roy. I thought he played well. He hasn't got a lot of minutes this year. Uh, as I said uh, previously, Rory injured his back late pre-season, struggled for a period after that, couldn't really find his, his feet again. But he's been training hard the last weeks. He's starting to find his rhythm again. I thought he, he, that looked more like the Rory Donnelly we saw toward, you know, through the Irish Cup run and through Europe. So, yeah, delighted for him. In the second half, I have to dig in at certain points of the game. It's good to get another clean sheet, a real crowd to defence and, and deal with the back as well. Yeah, I, I, we've conceded the least goals in the league and we've had the least expected goals in the league when you look at the stats. Every game of football, the opponent's going to get one, two, three chances in a game. I mean, if you look at games at the highest level, um, right down to the lowest level, every team gets chances. There, I don't think there's ever a game of football where the opponent doesn't get one. Um, a prime example was last week, I think it was Brighton against... Crystal Palace. They only entered the box twice of Brighton and they scored two goals. So uh, you can have all the possession, you can create all the chances, but the opponent's going to get And they got they got a couple. They hit the woodwork. They had a pile driver in the first half. Um, so glad we got the three points. Another quick turnaround, Linfield again Tuesday night, but it's our home game this time. Just the thoughts going into that. Look, derbies are derbies. It's, it's, they're enjoyable. They're nice for players, they're nice for the fans that are going to be at home watching it on TV. Um, they're, they're a good team, they're well coached, well organised, talented, they're, they're pacey up front, uh, they've got experience at the back and they had a great result against Lauren. You know, so they responded well after the defeat to us, they'll prepare well for us, they'll come to the Oval with respect for us, we'll show them the respect they deserve. And it's, it could be one of those crackers that uh, we wish there was 7,000 fans in the stadium, but unfortunately we can't. But no, it's, it's, it's got the potential to be a, a, a brilliant match. And the subject of the Irish Cups were raised its head this week and season curtailments when the Irish Cup's going to be played, how we're going to fulfil fixtures. What, what, what's your take on, on the week that's really been? Look, it's still possible to play the 38. Now, I know there's a rush to have everything finished by May 31st, but I, I, I'm not sure why it, it's... Surely that can be extended because the European games aren't played until July. You know, they're, they're played in July and in the August. So every year when the brackets come out for Europe, uh, for example, it will say cup winner Latvia versus Glentoran, you know, or league winner uh, Bulgaria versus Linfield. So there's leagues around Europe that aren't complete by May 31st every year. So I don't understand what the rush is to have it, it must be made there. So if we go into, if Europe, UEFA needs the nominations, it could say league winner, Irish league versus Sofia. League runner-up, you know, or Irish cup winner versus... So I think if we request the UEFA uh, to an extension for a couple of weeks into June, 
Is it possible? I think it, it should be. But I'll leave that up to the authorities. You know, at the end of the day, teams want to play football. Players want to play football. Managers want to play football. Fans want to continue to see games. And every other league I hear around, whether it be England, Scotland, they're talking about finding ways and solutions to complete their league. You know, and, and I know there's been some voices now talking about how do we end the league. But I look, I think the people that are behind behind football here, which is the coaches, the players, Niffle, they've got it in their their plans to try to play 38. I don't think there's any underhanded dealings going on to try to end this early. I think they'll get to at least 33, and then from 33 we'll go from there.